So I'm headed back to doing another run through on another account that I have. Um, fresh account, no pearls, no pay in, none of that. And I'm basically going to be showing everything that a new player can expect in terms of getting involved in BDO and what you can do in terms of not doing pay to win um so that's going to be the that's going to be the biggest thing and the focus is just getting um this character or these characters on this account um as progressed as possible without having to use the pearl shop use anything else now one of the things that bdo is known for is the fact that obviously you need uh, pets to loot anything. Well, well, you can loot on your own, but that's not really effective. You don't want to do that. You need pets, and pets typically come from the pearl shop. However, they made a bunch of changes into the game. There are pets you can get through quests, pets you can get through leveling up, various things like that. So I'm going to be showing a few of the a few of those quests and the requirements for them because a lot of people don't know where those are. I've already done a lot of that in part one. So in part two, I'm just going to be covering more of that. And now is a pretty good time to get involved in the game if you want to. Um, this account, for example, you're going to see is actually fairly powerful for being like fresh, no pay into anything. Um, and that's primarily just an account with a standard buy which they were having a deal that was 50 percent off so i think I, I got it for four dollars something like that i think it's 10 regularly and then they have two other packages above that that cost more money i don't think it exceeds like anywhere like close to 60 dollars or anything like that but they have other packages you don't need to do that i mean you can if you want to all that spending money in the game is going to do is get you to a location faster um, the in-game market was changed that uses actual silver in the game was changed significantly so it's possible to get a lot of what you need um, in-game market-wise. Um, pearl, um, clothes, pets, etc. All of that can be gotten from the market as well. But there are quests that give you things, temporary things as well, temporary outfits. But you can also get permanent outfits from the, um, from the in-game marketplace and I'll go over how that works now and what you need to look for and how you can find deals and stuff like that because usually what happens is that people are going to post at the beginning of the week after a reset and you'll see a lot of things there um and yes they cost a couple hundred million silver but there are ways to get a lot of silver in the game there are ways to get a lot of accessories and upgrades without having to spend you know a lot of pearls so that's going to be the focus of this part one covered a lot of it i'm going to do a lot more of it in part two here now so we're going to take care of that um, and again, the account I'm focusing on is this new account. It has an archer on it that I made um, for this purposes. It's in no way connected to my other accounts. 
um, it's just fresh and it's brand new. Um, grinding class wise, I would recommend either Archer, maybe Striker, but definitely Wizard Succession. Those are really good grinding classes. And the reason I say grinding classes is because the focus for a lot of the money comes from grinding. Obviously, life skills plays a role, but um, to get the most out of life skills, you need to make a huge investment. They did an overhaul there where you get a lot of silver from life skills, sailing, bartering, gathering, cooking, etc big investment but you get a lot from return sailing has the most investment but you get a lot back um if you have if you're doing it right but it requires a lot to invest so without further ado i'm going to get started with this um what i am going to show you guys now is just some new things that they have in the game until july you'll be able to get basically all try boss gear and weapons suppressed so you can enhance them, but there are certain quest lines and certain thresholds and certain uh, milestones you need to meet in the game in order to get um, those things. So we'll go over that kind of briefly, um, and you'll see that. Um, so the biggest thing, though, is getting level 56 and above, up to 60. At 56, 57, 58, you're going to get a try Zarka, try Offhand, and a try Awakening Weapon. Um, and those are all going to be um, non-enhanceable, but they're at try, so they're fairly powerful. And then after 56, 57, 58, 59, um, sorry, uh, 59, 60, and above um, 56, 56, 57, 58, above those, you're going to get two pieces of boss gear for, as armor um, for 58 and 59. So that's what you'll, oh, sorry, 59 and 60. So that's what you'll be getting at those levels until July. So that's why it's a good time to drop into the game now. These pets I have on this character actually right now, I did not pay for these pets. These are all pets through the quest line or through, or through rewards. So always check your rewards because when they do things like this, and they have like a bunch of things going, a bunch of events, you always want to click Y. This is one reason people stay AFK in game, is because they can get a lot of things in the game uh, this way. Uh, so you click Y, you're going to see a lot of things just for leveling, just for being in the game. Um, obviously your daily grind, these are those buffs here, you want to make sure you use those. They only work up till around 56, these ones. And then things like this, this current event is a great one, the Oasis Dream, but the... Uh, anniversary events are ending shortly so a lot of them are extended to july but make sure you grab those if you're a new player because you'll be able to take advantage of that as well um so the biggest thing i'm going to do right now is grind in not medea just yet but in this region to get myself up to uh 56 because the reason i say archer's a good one to go into is because archer can use their awakening from the very beginning um, so it's definitely one of the ones you want to check out. Um, so I'm going to be grinding, getting to 56 and above with this character. Uh, I'm going to be showing you what the rewards are. I'm going to be showing you what you can get. I'm going to be showing you um, why you want to talk to your black spirit and talk to it often um, to get the quest that it provides. Because this is going to give you a lot of things that are helpful in terms of getting your stuff together. I already did in part one the, cl the cliff quests. But the cliff quest gives you things like um, these items, cliffs, bow, etc. These are enhanceable. Um, so you want to do those at the outset. And then this just comes from questing as well. Just completing the quest. Completing the Calpheon quest chain is one of the biggest things you can probably do. Because it unlocks a lot of good things for you. So with that big introduction out of the way, I'm going to show you a few things here. And so, while I'm grinding, I'm also going to be listening to some music, because grinding can get a bit boring. So yeah.
So I just leveled right there. And another thing I want to show is that there's another event actually going on in the game right now. Um, and this is a T5 horse, by the way. Again, I did not buy this horse. Didn't buy it off the market either. Um, the T5 horse you get comes with um, Sprint and Instant Excel. You need to have a saddle and stirrups, though, to work either. Um, you can get those from the market. You can get those off the stable through an Amity game. But there are ways to get those. Um, all with in-game purchases involving silver, not money. Um, this horse, though, comes from leveling, comes from questing. So that's which again, it's important to do at least through the Calpheon quest to get most of what I have right here and all these other items and, and these and these pets that I have right here. I'm going to get a fifth pet, or sorry, a... a actually, I'll get a couple more. Um, and they all come from quests. One of them involves going through the Medea quest line. This is the Medea region. So all of these pets that are free come from these various quests in game. And again, in part one, I went through a lot of those quests. In part one, I went through going through all of the various quests um, that give you free stuff. But what I want to show you right now is a vendor. I'm going to get knowledge too. Really important to get knowledge um, where you can throughout the game because that allows you to do more things in terms of energy. Energy allows you to do more things in terms of life skilling and blah blah blah. But what I want to show you is that there is a vendor in most cities for the time being called the Oasis Vendor. And I'm not too familiar where that vendor is here in this particular region for Tariff, but I know in Alta Nova there is one. Um, and they are in most towns next to most stables. Um, what the vendor does is provide you with a set of armor and weapons that are like the tri-boss armor and tri-boss weapons you get from leveling up from 56 onward, except they aren't permanent. Um, they have bonuses, they're just the same, but those will only stick around for the, dirt, for the time of the event period, which more than likely is going to be July. Unlike the other boss items... Um, that you get from leveling for the anniversary event, this particular set of weapons and items, they are only available during the event period, but after the event period is over, they will disappear, is my understanding. Um, the try suppress boss weapons, try suppress boss gear that you get from leveling during this event period that ends on that ends in July, that will stay after the event period. If you already have gear 2 and you're a returning player, keep in mind that doing this, that collecting that those items from your rewards is retroactive and you can sell them for hundreds of millions of silver as well. So they are worth doing. They don't take that long to do. I'll probably get to some in this playthrough to show you what some of those are and what they involve. But again, 56 through 58 just involve leveling. Here is the vendor I was talking about. This is the vendor. She's near most stables in most towns. She is the Oasis vendor, Ellie. Um, she's available during the event period. And she sells these particular items. All for one silver. So as you can see, a lot of them say this item can only be used during the event period. It's not going to be used during the event period. This is great because they don't weigh much, these items that she sells. She also sells Oasis Traveler's Map. Traveler's Maps are great because they allow you to teleport around the region. Also, inventory space, you get a lot of that from questing as well. There's some quests I actually skipped in the Calpheon region that would have given you more inventory space. But if you do the base quest line for the Black Spirit, you'll get a lot of inventory space that way. And I have a lot of things eating at my inventory space right now anyway. Um, so that's why it's kind of like looking a bit shallow. But in terms of leveling and doing things, this is a great item to have, Energized Crom Meals. As you can see what their stats do in terms of the enemies, they do um, extra monster damage. They give you speed, movement, crit, all that good stuff. And they also have knowledge gain chance, and they also decrease the chance of getting damaged by monsters by 6%. That's a great food to use. However, if you're leveling life skills, you want to use this one. If you're, if you're doing PvP, You'll probably use this one unless you have some kind of rotation for food. This one, Simple Cron, is the one for EXP, though. As you can see, it's plus 20% combat. So these all cost one silver. This is only for the event period. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. Let's say 50. That's just 50 silver right there. And that's great, because I'll be able to hold on to these for now. The other thing I want to show you is this compass. Compasses are great for going into the desert. 
they're great for going out into the Uncharted Sea. That's the sea beyond um, the Balanos Islands, all the way out to Mongoria Sea. That's where you can no longer see your mini-map. Also for the event period, which will continue even probably past July, so it's a different event period, there are no desert debuffs and there are no sea debuffs in the sea. Sea debuffs affect your sailors. Um, since that's the case, you don't have to worry about these other elements for going onto those regions, but the compass is very good for having, for navigating those regions because you can't see your mini-map or you, in the Great Sea or in the desert. So this is also good for your horse, so I might buy a couple of those since I got this T5 horse recently. Um, but yeah, these are the items you want to use. These are the items that you'll get at 56. They unlock at 56. These are different than the items you get from leveling. Um, these items only exist for the for the event period. This item is going to give you four pieces of armor, whereas these are going to give you um, a sub weapon, so an offhand, um, your awakening weapon, and your main hand weapon. But these you also get at 56. So at 56 during this event period, you can have a whole set of quote boss gear as well while you level to getting the more permanent try suppress boss gear. Again, the only reason to get this is as a jumping off point so you can have something to use going forward and kind of help your grind be a lot easier and, and your playtime be enjoyable in the game. Um, with that out of the way, I'm going to go back to leveling. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these foods, like right there. Um, as you eat food, as you run on your character, you'll gain these life boosts as well. Um, that's my horse, but you'll gain this breath from running, which is that strength from carrying things like trade packs. I wouldn't really necessarily recommend this. Um, it gains slowly, but you might want to do this AFK for one day or two. What you do is just get a trade pack and then AFK path in a city. The straighter the line, the better. The longer the straighter the line, the better as well. Health comes from just eating food. More food gives you more level in terms of the quality. So that's all that information there. So what we're going to do now is go back to grinding. I'm at 53. We're going to go back to grinding. I'm probably going to use some more of my buffs. I'm probably also going to get additional guild buffs as I have made this all um, possible to pick up guild um, materials. So that's another thing I'm using. But again, this is all in-game stuff. If you're in a guild that has guild buffs and a person that's possible to pop guild buffs pops them, you'll also receive them. So this is something that everyone can receive. So I'll go ahead and get that started now.
So these are the quests I was referring to earlier that you get for accessories. At a certain point and level you'll be able to grind these particular accessories. What you have to do is kill mobs in these regions to get these accessories. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to start over here in this region. I'm going to get this necklace. I'm going to show you why you want to do this, especially if it's a new account. Because, again, you're going to get a lot of free stuff from the boss gear side of just leveling. These items, though, will not be something that's included. You don't really get accessories. You get armor and you get weapons, which are great. You'll get try suppress stuff, which is great. That's try. It's nice. However, if you want accessories, this is a good leaping stone because this is great for grinding the Asulas, has extra monster damage, and they come, as this one shows you right here, duo, duo, try, and try. And they have set effects. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what to grind and where to grind to get this. After a certain point of leveling, I just hit 53, you'll get access to these um, accessories showing up on your map in the Medea region only. There are other places like over here in Calpheon for the skeletons. If you grind here you can do this three times, grinding more and more skeletons. After the third time it doesn't repopulate, but it'll keep giving you witches earrings. Which is good, but you have to go around the route of enhancing things. And already the quest line is going to give you things that are kind of good to start with to help you on your way. This is this this AP on this is basically an at base um, which is earring. So we're going to focus on different things to get you started with that. And that includes these accessories. And then again, that includes getting to 56. So you can see what I'm talking about in terms of this information. Again, the previous video, I did show how to get the cliff weapons and how the cliff weapons are, are useful and beneficial, especially going forward. Again, the cliff weapons are also something you can sell later for hundreds of millions of dollars directly to an NPC. So again, these are all things that if you're a returning player, you might also want to do them because you can make a little bit of cash and decide doing it as well. So we're going to head over to Abandon Iron Mine first to get that part done.
Okay guys, so we just got to the first milestone here, and that's 56, like I was talking about earlier. The reason why that's important, especially for this time period where these events are going until July, is I'll show you right now. I just hit 56, 
And a couple of things are going to happen after D6. They're going to get access to your Awakening. If you are a normal class, Archer already has access to their Awakening, which is why I recommend it for new players especially. It's kind of easy to grind with and easy to get a handle of. But not only that, remember these cliff weapons I got? Because 56 is technically the Awakening level, I couldn't access the cliff box that had my Awakening weapon in it. Now I can, though, since I'm now 56. Of course, there is no empty slot, so i got to make the space. But, um... Once I do that, I will have access to a cliff weapon in my awakening slot. So it's going to be place this, this bow that I'm currently using right now, as my awakening. So it's going to give me even more damage that I do once I open this. So it's right there. Yes, you can see it's a cliff's bow, great weapon, a uh, great weapon, a uh, great bow. Um, this is going to replace this, and that comes from the cliff quest, which I covered in part one of this series. So I'm going to equip it now, and I can only do this now because I'm now 56. Um, because that's just the way the mechanics work, even though Archer has access to their Awakening well before 56. The other thing, though, is I just hit 56. So I pressed Y. I'm looking at my claim rewards. There are a bunch of things in there, 55, 50, all that kind of stuff. All good stuff. What you want to look at is this. Like I said, this event's going to end in June. So you don't have a lot of time left, but this is a great event. This is part of the anniversary period that was going on. This will stay after the event's over. You're going to get a box like this at 56, 57, 58 for your, all, for your main hand, off hand, and awakening, respectively. Because the awakenings last, it's good to have the cliff weapons. Because you didn't get this access to this before, it's also good to have the cliff weapons. I got my cliff weapons at around 49, 50, because I completed the, every single quest up to the Calpheon, um quest line and completed that as well that gives you access to the cliff weapons and that's covered in part one of this series which is on this channel and also on the twitch for now until it gets removed so i'm going to go ahead and take this box this is going to allow me to access my first free try suppressed gear and you're going to see why that's important in a sec so you open that it's basically Azarka. Even though it's suppressed, even though it can't be enhanced, it's, it's essentially Azarka. So I'm going to go ahead and equip it. It's going to replace the cliff weapon in here. Now the cliff weapon I'm not going to throw out because this can still be enhanced. This can be enhanced all the way up to pen if I want to. The other thing about the cliff weapons though is that once you enhance them, there is an NPC in Western Guard Camp that will buy these for money. If they're over pen, he will buy them for hundreds of thousands, hundreds of millions. Is what he will buy these for and there are three of them so i'm going to hold on to them i might enhance them again the suppressed gear cannot get over try because it's suppressed is for the event now that i'm also 56 though i also have access to all the oasis gear and the oasis gear is back in town so i'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys what i mean by the oasis gear so the cliff weapons are nice but because with the Oasis gear currently being active right now, you can get a lot out of it um, for this event. The Oasis gear, unlike the Suppress items, will not last after this event period is over. The Suppress items will last after the event period is over, but you can only get them during the event period. So that's the difference. So you can see I'm already starting to do a lot more damage with that try Zarka, even though it's suppressed. It's the same as a Zarka, it just cannot be enhanced past try, and it cannot de-enhance either. So it's good to have, they really are. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, and I'm gonna show you guys I might stay here actually and get just the end part of this accessory because we're very close to getting that accessory. As you saw earlier, I also got another Asula to drop. So it's also good to grind these areas because you can get Asulas to drop. Sometimes they will drop to enhance, but the quests for these areas that, that come up as subjugations, like the one right here, that are one time use for an entire family account, they are good to do just because um, they will drop as enhance, either duo or as, or as try once you complete that quest. So I'm going to finish this one up. And then we'll get on the road to showing the rest of the Oasis gear. And now that I can equip that since I'm now 56. And then I'll wrap up with showing you something else you can do once you hit the high 50s, which a lot of new players don't know they can do in terms of leveling. It makes leveling a lot easier. So we'll get on that right now.
So I'm actually going to head to the Oasis Manager in Heidel. I'll show you where that one is now. That one's actually down by the docks. And again, the Oasis vendor sells various things, like those carrots do come in handy. They're basically special carrots for one silver. They work great for your horse as well, but it's only available for the event period, which ends in June. Um, again, the event period will mark the end for a lot of things that are currently in game, that have been in game since this um, past um, beginning of the year. So a lot of these things will go away, but tr the Tri Suppress gear will remain in effect afterwards, but you can only get it during the event period. The Oasis gear and stuff like that, that's going to go away once the event period's over. But it's good to have it right now, and I'll show you right why right now. I'm going to go and grab some. So I actually went to the wrong Stable Master the first time. This is the Stable Master in Hyrule you want, and this is L. So, once you speak to her, let me make some inventory space first though, I should have done that a long time ago. But once you speak to her, since I'm 56 now, and this event's going on, you can access the Oasis gear, and I'll show you what that is in a sec. I'm going to toss all of this stuff. This is all quested items. Stuff like that. It can be upgraded through quests, materials, that sort of thing. So I'm holding on to it right now. The Cliff's Bow, like I said, I'm going to hold on to the Cliff's Bow for now. I'm also going to hold on to maybe not the Wooden Great Bow. I can toss that. Um, I can sell my Trash Loot. But I'll hold on to other quest items and other things like that. Just because you never know when the quest is going to ask you to upgrade something. So you just want to keep that. Um... Oh, also you have all these various event scrolls, so you want to use your event scrolls. You'll get a lot of them through the Y button, uh, the Reclaim Rewards section of the game. So you want to keep an eye on that. And as well, always talk to your Black Spirit. Can't sell to that guy, that's the guild vendor. Also that book, all those other materials that I got for EXP. 
Book of Combat, those are also all rewards. That all comes from re-leveling, that all comes from doing quests. Okay. Alright, so this is the same vendor I got these these meals from. If I want to do life skilling, I'll go with this, PvP with this one, and then this one's just for extra damage and grinding if you don't care about EXP. If you do care about EXP, this is the one you want, and I bought all of those. As you can see, they're all for one silver. This is great for the desert, great for the open ocean. This is great for feeding your horse. This is a great map for getting around because you can use this anywhere. In fact, I should have shown you that I can use this even when I'm out in the open area. I don't have to be in the desert for this. All right, so here's what we have access to at 56. We have access to all of these. I'm not gonna take the main weapon box because I already have a suppressed weapon, which is that tri weapon I got for just from leveling. When I level to 57, I'm going to get a main one, and I'm also going to get an awakening one at 58. So I'm still gonna keep the ones I get at 58, but I'm gonna to toss these as I get them because as it says, these will disappear during after the event period is over anyway. So that's when I'm gonna get rid of them. They're not going to be permanent, but they're good to have while they're around. Um, this, though, is the armor I'm going to be using because I'm, going to, I'm not going to get access to tri-suppressed armor until I'm 59 and 60. You get two each, but you have to do short quests for them that the Black Spirit gives you. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase all three right now. I didn't really need the main weapon one. But just to show you that the main weapon one is no different than the rest. Here's the defense gear. As you can see, it's basically boss armor. It's basically boss armor. Um, again, it's going to go away after the event period is over. I'm going to usually replace it. These are all quest items. This was a drop. Sometimes drops can be dropped in hands, but these were all quest items. All these were quest items that I got for doing the Calpheon, um, every, every quest up to Calpheon, and then through. Um, as you can see, it does change my character's look a bit. Um, this is the Awakening Weapon. So I just had this Cliff's Awakening Weapon that I got access to for turning 56 that I got earlier on. But I'm going to replace it right now with this because this is going to be much better. I'm still going to hold on to the Cliff's Weapon just like I was holding on to the main for the bow because I can enhance those. Again, these are all event items and event gear. This stuff here and then this. These are event gears. This is different than, than these because this is going to last. It's going to stay after the event. These won't. Um, but I'm going to keep these right now because it's going to give me a lot more AP and a lot more DP. As you can see, I just skyrocketed a lot. This is going to help you in terms of grinding and getting a good handle on things and grinding quickly. Because the, the biggest component of, of BDO, especially if you don't have a lot of silver to start off with, is being able to grind. Otherwise, things are going to move very slowly. If you have the AP and then if you can avoid taking damage or if you can take the damage, grinding is going to be so much easier for you. Here's the main one, and just so you can see, the main one's going to be the exact same, even though it's something different as the suppress I just got from the other event, the anniversary that ends in June as well. So I'm not going to replace this with that, because this is going to sit here, um, it's not going to um, add anything new, I'm actually just going to toss it, I can't even sell it, so I'm just going to toss it, I just want you guys to see that. This is going to be the sub-weapon, which I'm going to equip right away. It's going to replace this one, and this, again, disappears after the event period is over. Now you can see I have 184, 186, 285 in terms of my stats. So these are all big, great changes that will allow me to go ahead and grind in higher level areas, take out mobs faster, make better gains, level faster, etc., etc. Permanent in-game items, in terms of accessories. When you hit 61, 62, 63, you're gonna get things called Kaposia items, which are accessories, but that's much later. If you can use these events and these event items to get yourself to the end game faster though, or quote unquote end game, you'll get access to those a lot faster as well. So that's essentially what we did. We started this video out at 52. We got to 56 in a little over an hour, not by much. Um, I showed you all the various event items you could use to help you with that. Not so much this, but other items you get inside of here, including things like these and other things like that, other EXP scrolls like this and stuff and whatnot that you'll get access to. You'll be able to use those to help you level. Um, in addition to that, you're also going to have access to things from your Black Spirit. You should always talk to your Black Spirit. When you go to the quest options, always look at main and then always look at suggested too. Because suggested is going to have things that are going to give you things to unlock your fairy, which is another great resource and tool that you can get in game. 
things to unlock additional pets, things to unlock more inventory space, things to unlock more energy, things to unlock more contribution points. These are all things outside of, outside of the ladder that you'd usually spend pearls on. You don't have to do that anymore in the game. It is a bit more legwork, but you'll be able to get kind of the same results. Now you saw that I was leaving a little bit of loot behind. That's because I was going exceptionally fast, given the fact that I had some of this upgraded gear that I again got for free. I didn't enhance any of this gear. So to recap, the event for this period ends in June. So you want to make sure that if you're going to start playing Black Desert Online, this is a great time to start doing it because you'll have access to all these event items. Um, if the event items were not here, what I would do is follow the main quest line all the way through Calpheon. So do everything and then finish Calpheon's storyline. The reason you want to do that is because it unlocks a bunch of additional options and things in your Black Spirit that allows you to get things like the cliff weapons, additional pieces of armor, quest armor like this. This dim magical can actually be enhanced again later on the quest line in Medea. And these are things that you're not level locked to. These are things that are dependent upon you completing the quest. If you're gonna do the if you're gonna do the Calpheon all the way through storyline, I suggest doing that well before you hit 56. If you hit 56 and you finish the quest line, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the mission to go to Western Guard Camp to get your cliff weapons, but the mission you're gonna get to complete that quest is gonna be killing an awakened boss scroll. If you're a new player, that's going to be a bit difficult for you. If you're a brand new player, brand new account. It's going to be a bit difficult for you. If you're not, you can probably get around it. But if you're a new player, I would suggest completing that well before 56. So when you get to 50, so when you get there, you're not 56. It's going to give you another quest that involves killing just mobs in the area, which is much easier. So that's how you get your cliff weapons. If that was the case and the Oasis event wasn't here or the anniversary, I would hold on to the cliff weapons. They enhance a lot better. I would enhance them. I would keep them as I go ahead and get my actual gear that I need. Um, in terms of pieces of armor, again, I would still do what I did in, in Medea a minute ago, going to those various areas. There's still one more area for the belt, going around and killing mobs to get these Asula pieces. There's a plus side. The mobs might actually drop a Asula base on their own, too, so you can, you can double up. Um, once I've done that, I will continue to do the quest to get more pieces of armor because the quest line will give you armor pieces to flush out the rest of your gear. That's how you would handle it outside of this event cycle. I'm also going to show you the marketplace and show you how accessible that now is. Also, keep in mind that you want to look at your events as much as possible, your mail, and down here also your challenges, which is why, and also your box, which the Black Spirit gives you. You always want to look in here because events are going to put things in here, and they put a lot of great things in here, like this is going to be great in terms of additional inventory space, so I'll go ahead and I'll take that and I'll use that, um, if I can find out where it went. I think it just activated, yeah, it just activated as soon as I used it. So yeah, oh, no, here it is, it's right there. So yeah, that's going to give you additional inventory space. So these are all things you can do at base. I'm going to show you real quick the new marketplace and how that's so much better for players. Prices have dropped. Everything is on here almost all the time. You just do a search. You want to do weapons. You want to do shields, etc. All that stuff is here. Nothing is ever truly ever sold out except for some things in some circumstances. So it's made the game a lot more accessible. So again, with the event period now happening, with these items here, the game is a lot more accessible and a lot easier to get gear. Because like I was saying a minute ago, I started this video at 52. It's only been an hour and I didn't have any try gear. Now I have all my try weapons. I have a try um, earring and I have try boss gear. All thanks to the event, all thanks to quests, but it's possible to achieve in a very limited amount of time. Um, so also the marketplace if you ever have money and you do get a lot of money just from the events but again by pressing y you get a lot of money from getting into 55 56 various events in the game give you a lot of money i'm actually going to select one of these i think i'm going to go with this one but you also get skill points and other things like that so these are all really accessible items and accessible things you can get in game right away the other thing you can do that's new in the game that most returning players and most new players don't know about is this. These are training dummies. They're 
all over the world in all the major cities, all the way from Heidel to Calfion to Velia, all the way to Valencia. Here, this is a new account, so you can't see that, but Valencia is over there. All the way to Dragon down here, one of the newest areas, and the Camisilvia, of course. Every major city has these training dummies. Now, what's great about them? You probably see people training right here. You can train EXP and skill points while you're AFK. So again, like I was saying earlier, yes, if you're AFK, you could do weight training. You could do other life skill training. Like, like strength is something I wouldn't really put an emphasis on. But again, people with weight, weight really is one of the things. There's not too many ways to go around that. You could train it. It's just kind of a bore to train and it also has very high diminishing returns. How you would train that is by getting a trade packet from a trader, putting it on your character, not your horse, and then setting up an auto loot path. The longer the path, the better. The straighter the path, the better. And then they'll slowly gain strength and level that up. Breath by running around and then health by just eating foods. Like random foods like I was eating in here, I was eating this for the leveling, because that's good that's a good leveling food. But all of that helps your life your sub life skills that I just went over right there. But this guy though, again, you're gonna get a lot of money now from the black spirit, a lot of money from the quest line. This guy in particular, he's in every single major major city with the training dummies. You can buy books of training. Now, be careful what you buy, because some people mix this up. They either mix up the time or they mix up what they're buying. There are two types. There's one for skill, there's one for combat. You can actually put them together. So let's say I actually bought a book of training for combat for three hours and a book of training for skill for three hours. Those would work together. If I got on the training dummy, I would be gaining skill points and combat EXP. If I didn't want to worry about skill, I just, I just want an EXP, I would get a combat book. If I didn't want EXP, I would just get a skill book. Um, you can mix and match. You can add the times together. They are additive um, for the respective books. Or you can just um, have one be five hours, one be 10 hours. Or you can buy two tens and have it be 20 hours. Two tens on both, have it be 20 hours for skill, have it be 20 hours for um, combat. So I'm going to show you guys real quick because we're wrapping up here as well. I'm recapping everything I started off from the, from the beginning. Um, what you can do in terms of this so it takes pure silver you're going to get a lot of money from the game now silver wise not actual irl money so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to throw in um five hours now you're going to look here make sure that you don't buy these books unless you're 50 and above so you can purchase these books if you're 50 and below but you just can't use them so when you purchase a book, I'm going to purchase some right now, skill and five hours for training. I'll do that. They're going to appear in your inventory here. When you're on a dummy, all the EXP, all the skill buffs work. So if you have tents, if you have foods, if you have scrolls for EXP, that kind of thing, use them. They'll work on this type of thing. So I'm going to use this one that I didn't use before. Um, and I'm also, well, that was a book of, I have a book of training still running, so it actually got wasted, so don't do that. But you can go ahead and use all these, and then you're just going to right click on the books and get them active. When they're active, they appear up here. Book of training skills appear as these blue icons when they're active, and book of training combat appears as these. It'll tell you what's going on, the tooltip, and what you, what you can and cannot do. What you can't do with these is, if you're training skill EXP, or sorry, combat EXP, so just basic character EXP, you can't go over level. What I mean by that is, let's say you're level 56 like I am. If I were to train on this, and I can train all the way up to 99.99%, it won't let me go from 56 to 57. So plan accordingly. Don't waste your books. Don't waste your silver. If you're at 56.99.99, don't buy a book to train that. You're not going to get to 57. Hit something out in the wild, get your 57, then come back. So what this looks like is once I'm done, I don't have a ton of pets. Again, this is a basic account, cheapest account, what you can do with it, how far you can get. And as you saw when we started this, I didn't even have 100 AP at the beginning of this video. I now have 100 AP. I have almost 300 DP. So this is what you can do with a free account. No pay to win, no nothing. Um, 
once I have those books activated, I come to a dummy that's open. I can't go to one that's not open. She's not training. That's why I can go to hers. But anyone that is training, you'll see stuff around it. I go to a dummy. I press R. Now I'm AFK training. So it's like AFK fishing. It's like any other AFK activity. If I leave my character here, he is going to gain skill EXP. I already have 150, but he's going to gain more. And he's going to gain more combat EXP as well. He's going to gain both. Because I have both books activated. And that's going to run for 5 hours. If I want to, I can buy another book and extend the time for one or the other or both. But he's going to stay here as long as my computer is on. And he's going to AFK train. So what we did this time around is we started off this account. We went from 52 to 56 in this video. My first video covers getting the cliff weapons, completing the storylines, which main story quest to do so you can maximize your time. You don't want to do all the sub quests. Don't do that. You'll waste a lot of time doing that. Stick to what the Black Spirit gives you because the Black Spirit is going to unlock a lot of quests. And what I mean by that is quests that have the little Black Spirit symbol on it, not the books, not anything else like that. That's going to give you inventory space. It's going to give you combat EXP. It's going to give you skill EXP. It's going to give you all these bonuses. The other side quests are great. They give other additional things, but they're just like color. Um, a few of them will give inventory space don't get me wrong but the majority of it's going to come from the black spirit main quest so you want to do those um the other thing to do is again once you get to 50 52 53 i was over here we started the video with me over here in mains um you don't see it now but as you saw earlier there were quests here like they have over here for helm or for sorry elric quests here that have these little icons these are subjugations they only appear one time per family account once you're 52 53 and you're over in this region i was grinding here to get 52 to 53 they unlocked once you're here you'll be able to see them and you can gather those accessories the good thing about them is is that you're not going to get free accessories through the event period that's going on until june you'll get free accessories to the quest line but they come later if you want to get free accessories that are good do those subjugations in medea I did the one for Helms, and I got the Triasula Crimson Eye. That's why I just completed a minute ago. It got me to 56 as well. I did the one for Rogues. I got me the duo of Sula Crimson's Eye. And I did the one for um, Abandoned Iron Mine. That got me the duo necklace. These drop already enhanced once you complete that subjugation. As a additional perk, while I was grinding over there at Helms, I got this additional Sula Crimson Eye Ring that just fell off the mobs. So there's a bonus for doing those subjugations, and you're going to want to do them. Um, again, the Oasis Vendor is the one you want to look out for. The Oasis Vendor is leaving in June. The Oasis Vendor sells these items, which is basically try boss gear. Once the event period is over, though, these items are going to go away, including these items. She'll also sell try boss gear for your awakening main and sub however these are going to go away once the event period also ends the flip side of that is just leveling like i said i, I got the one for her for the main i didn't need it anymore because i hit 56 i just went into my claims reward and when i went in here after i hit 56 this was waiting for me so at 56 57 and 58 i'm going to get suppress zarka Crossbow, 57, Suppress uh, Kudum offhand, and 58, Suppress Awakening Weapon. The Suppress stuff will last past the event period, but it's only available during the event period. So the quest to get them will only be available during the event period, and that basically involves just leveling. So what we're trying to do here is maximize your AP and your DP as a new account, fresh player, so you can get right into the game, because the ability to grind, especially when you don't have any silver at the outset, is what's going to make you make those gains quickly. And if you want to turn around and then do life skilling, you're going to have a lot more money to invest to get the most out of life skilling right away, so it's not a big grind at the beginning. Because on my main account, I don't even grind anymore because I have all this Monos gear, all these life things plussed out to th to no end that I just process everything out of my warehouse and I make hundreds of millions a day just doing that. So if you want to get 
if you want to catch up to that speed, you got to get your AP and your gear there. And this gets your AP and your gear pretty close. You're almost at 200 AP. You're almost at 300 DP. You can start grinding things in camo with this, just like this. You can go to polys and other places. If you're new, stay on the Olvia channels and go to those locations. All of these various steps are things you can achieve within like a couple of days. Within a week, you can be a master at it on a new account. But that's keeping in mind with what's available now in the event period. So that's what we did today. Part 1 covers 1 through 50. This segment covered cover 52 to 56. And then getting those final gains. The next gains come at 57, 58, 60, and 61. 60 and 61 is going to give you two pieces of boss armor. They're going to replace these. They're going to be the same in terms of stats. But they're going to replace these because those ones, the ones from the anniversary that ends in June, those ones are going to stay once the event period's over. These items from the Oasis vendor, L, who is in every single major city by the stables, these are going to go away. So all of these are going to go away once the event period's over. This won't, though, because this is my first piece from the anniversary, the tri suppress Zarka crossbow. So hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to wrap things up now. Um, this is probably going to be the last stream of the night, the last video of the night. But if you like what you saw, um, go ahead and subscribe or go to our social media to get our our schedules and whatnot because we'll have it up there thanks for watching